On Sunday, the NTV Panorama investigative series brought to the fore a special report of the sexual abuse and exploitation of refugees, some as young as 15 years old. Police officers at Old Kampala Police Station, as well as officials from the refugee agency UNHCR, were accused of complicity in the vice. Now, Kitugu Municipality MP Beatrice Anywa says the problem could be widespread across other refugee settlements in the country. She says a UNHCR staff member, one Kemis Ali, is accused of similar crimes of abusing young girls in Lamor district. The suspect is reportedly being detained at Ginger Road Police Station in Kampala. We had to bring Jennifer to Kampala under security arrangements. We are not sure whether she's not going to be kidnapped. Even herself, as, as we speak now, she's under security arrangements. So we cannot rule out that something was extremely going to be wrong. And we are not leaving any stone unturned. The UNHCR spokesperson in Kampala, Dunia Assalam Khan, says the matter is being investigated. Again, I cannot give you any details because uh, the investigations are ongoing by the Office of the Inspector General. Um, and um, we have to wait for, for the investigation to, to conclude. A number of legislators told NTV that such abuses may have been going on for some time. They are asking the authorities to take firm action to send a clear signal to other culprits. We really need to check our police force. We need to comb it. We need to clean it. We need to make it professional once again because it has lost its professionalism. How, as a defender of human rights, do you end up participating and aiding, you know, the undignifying of women, the abuse of women, the trade of girls? It's, it's, a, it's a pity. Every human being in police now, I think majority of them are just looking for how they can help themselves. If they are not uh, participating in the murder themselves, they are participating in trafficking human beings. It's a huge problem. I, I think it deserves an investigation a thorough investigation to find out if it's true that there are those involved in such a crime because it's a grave kind of crime. Some officials at the refugee desk in the office of the Prime Minister and UNHCR are also accused of demanding sex to process papers for refugees who desire to relocate to third countries in Scandinavia like Norway and Sweden as well as others including the USA and Australia. Asalam Khan says they can only take action with robust evidence obtained against the implicated officials. We are deeply uh, troubled by the report uh, concerning um, the, the allegations that were brought into our attention uh, regarding a colleague. Um, and we, as soon as these reports or these allegations was brought into the attention of UNHCR, um, these were immediately reported to the Office of the Inspector General who launched an investigation into the issue. Uganda now hosts about 1.3 million refugees from neighboring countries in conflict. These include South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Burundi. In the last few months, beginning last year, the refugee numbers swelled rapidly following increased violence in South Sudan and DRC Congo. Andwari Nitwe, NTV, Kampala.